hi guys what's up and welcome back into my youtube channel if this is your first time here you're most welcome you're a returning subscriber really appreciate your presence or you coming back okay whichever works for you but yeah thank you for coming back that's what i meant to say in essence but i'm just uh, that's somebody that must say one thing in two or ten different ways please pardon me so yeah um welcome back into my youtube channel my returning subscribers you guys are my OGs. thank you for coming back i appreciate you clicking on another video and i hope you enjoyed this one as you enjoy the rest okay on this channel i film about i film content around faith lifestyle relationship and beauty so if that sounds like something you want to you're interested in you know you can just scroll down um you can just scroll down my channel and you'll see content around all of these topics that i've just mentioned and i hope you like what you see <laughs> thank you but yeah um so you guys i'm sure you guys can hear but as you can tell you can tell from my voice sorry if you can tell from my voice mm -hmm. it sounds a little bit um yeah not strange it sounds a little bit off as if you can tell and today i'm not like on high pitch because you you <laughs> i'm not feeling too good i'm literally just using the little energy i have left in me to film this video these are the stuff i go through for you guys so cold i don't know i caught the flu if that makes sense yeah so um i've been battling it for days now and you guys it's just been giving me buzz balls buzz balls anyways thank god for i trust god to perfect my healing right so yeah you can just see a prayer for me in the comment section <laughs> um yeah enough of the whole rant rant whatever so yeah without further ado let's just get into the business of today so guys i was on let me just bring my head this way i was on um what's it called okay i was on ig instagram i was on instagram yesterday yeah and i saw this um this thingy this this um right up um and I, th I'm, I think i'm going to leave it before this clip so you guys can see the question that someone asked um someone asked this question on instagram and i was like okay and then immediately i saw this question i went to the comment section to check what people thought or think about this thing and i thought okay why don't i just make a video out of this right let's just talk, talk about it because i've been feeling it in my spirit to talk about this particular topic or similar something similar but i just didn't know how to now like go about it but now that someone actually asked this question on instagram like let's address the issue does that make sense yeah so i'm going to leave the question before you guys see the question before this clip so you guys can read it and let's just flow together right so this person asked this question about advantages of cohabiting basically the question said what are the advantages of cohabiting before marriage what are the advantages of living together as living together like say you have a fiance and all of that like what are the advantages of you as a lady or you as a guy housing your fiance you as a lady going to like live with your fiance right like what are the advantages of that so that's what i'm just talking about in this video so that's how the because you want to hear just keep watching okay just 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 stay with me so first of all i don't even have a script i was thinking about this topic today i was like okay how do i tackle this topic right and i was just lost for a second so i was cooking i was cooking earlier today and I found my answer because I was still struggling on okay, how do I tell these people like in a way that they would actually understand, right? So um yeah, so the first question you should ask yourself in this in a situation like this is as a Christian, eh? Do you think let's start from as a Christian, do you think cohab cohabiting, like I said, living with your fiance or fiance before my mar marriage? do you think is is the ideal thing to do 
let's start from there is it is it a, is it the ideal thing to do right so whatever your answer is you can just take it off from there but i'm just going to tell you guys what i feel about this thing so first of all the question i just asked i just threw to you guys now as a christian is it is it a wise decision to cohabit with your partner right or your sp- no spouse sorry ah but not married yet is it wise to cohabit with your boyfriend girlfriend whatever or internal couples is it wise to me no to know for me as you guys most of you who can already tell can predict my response for me is a no yeah so why is it a no because listen like first of all i don't think ideally if you are a true christian yeah it's not the right thing to do because you guys are not married so why feel the need to cohabit i told you guys i visited the comment section right i saw a lot of responses i don't think i can post this on here because this thing is just going to be too long so i'm not going to do that but i'm just going to tell you guys what people said so there are people who came on to say oh yeah sure why not you should definitely cohabit with your intended wife right or intended husband yeah totally i mean it's 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 very necessary others went on to say no it's a no no for me reason because like the people gave us excuses of yeah uh, the people that were saying yes cohabit gave us the excuse of oh yeah um you get to know your partner better you know you get to live in the same space as your partner you get to know what kind of person he or she really is so yes please do cohabit and then i'm just like so let's pick up the arguments from that angle right so um those people that said yeah cohabit you need to know your partner you need to get to know your partner well whatever whatever blah blah blah, blah. listen it is not by cohabiting that you get to know your partner do you guys understand sorry i'm i'm, I'm sniffing just i'm having a very bad um, cold so you guys just pardon me it's not by cohabiting that you know your partner i've said this thing i think um i spoke i've spoken about it in snippets in some of my videos but i'm just elaborating on this so yeah it's not by that i've had people tell me oh you know a person or do you live with the person long enough and i said no no yes because that's just an excuse or you're giving the devil a foothold right like you're tempting you're, you're tempting the devil <laughs> does that make sense yeah so yeah like habiting in the name of who to my partner better you're going about it the wrong way yeah that's what i'm just here to tell you you're going about it the wrong way because you can know that person whilst you guys are dating, cutting, whatever. You can still know that person. And like I said, like, like I mentioned passively in my past videos, I said, as a Christian, it is expected that I believe that you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. You house the Holy Spirit, right? So, what's the work of the Holy Spirit? If you need to cohabit, with your fear with your fiance before you can know that person better right what is the work of the holy spirit because for me i know that the holy spirit does like makes living easier for me it makes life easier for me what do i mean by that things that i know that okay i'm being iffy about and i'm like okay so what do i do i'm at the cross when i'm like, okay god help me right the holy spirit basically just tells me what to do so this should not be an exception right the holy spirit should let you know like who is this person you know what kind of person is this like i told you guys a human being can only hide or pretend to hide their nature for so long are you are you superhuman are you immortal <laughs> are you like what are you are you not a human being if we're talking about the regular human beings normal human beings we have in this present age day and time it shouldn't be so hard to voice to decipher with the help of the holy spirit like i've said earlier on it's the holy spirit that will reveal these things to you so most of itself as you guys journey through the whole dating courting process process you will know you will see because these things are very hard to hide even if in the early stages you, you're like okay you don't know 
as you go on, the Holy Spirit will reveal to you. For those of you that said, oh, okay, um, we did me and my I and my friends did cut for as long or did this. I'm not even a fan of dating for so long, right? But like that's why I that that that's why I just said it's the Holy Spirit that will fast track, okay? Because it's not you know you're not relying on a human being. It's the Holy Spirit that would help you know as much as you need to know about this person before going into marriage. Does that make sense? Everything that matters. Does that make sense? It's the Holy Spirit that will make you know everything about this person that truly matters that he feels like you should know before you enter marriage are you are you understanding me there was this um youtuber that, that spoke about um domestic violence and all of that i don't know if you guys know Roy Keraji. i'll leave her deal with her handle or uh, whatever on the screen Roy Ke, you know Roy Ke. Roy Ke spoke about how she was um she went through um domestic abuse and all of that and then she also mentioned that she had dated this guy for 10 years right and when they were about to get married people told her this is what this guy actually is like this is what this guy is like so in her case maybe she must she must maybe she must have even seen signs of about this guy being abusive in their dating stage how can you explain for 10 years and say you don't know she must she must have seen these signs if she had paid a blind eye to that i feel like at that point god the grace of God was just sufficient in her life. Why? Because she went as far as saying even people, when they heard this thing was getting serious, people came on to tell her, this is what this guy is like. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So he used people to come and tell her, auntie, hey, you have to watch us. Are you sure you can? This is what it is, right? But she still went on with it and two years after, she's out. Right? I mean, I feel for her and I'm proud that she actually left the whole marriage, but you could have been avoided from the beginning. Does that make sense? So that's what the Holy Spirit does. He will tell you if you are forming coconut head, he will tell he will make people come and tell you. He would reveal to you, be it in dreams or whatever. However, God speaks to you, he would reveal to you. So I don't feel like you need to leave it. Yes, I've heard people say, okay, um, you guys know um Pastor Laju. Pastor Laju um, Irene and Pastor Emmanuel Irene. At the end of, if you guys watch this series, this is it. At the end of the season two of this is it, there was a couple's interview, right? And they were, that was the first time I saw them. So they were interviewing them and then she was like, oh, um, the first year of marriage, after you got mar- uh, married, you know, um, she started seeing stuff about uh, her husband that she was like, who is this guy? Who is this person, right? Like, who are you <laughs> because obviously they, they had never cohabited before so that was the first time of them living together and then she was seeing all of those tra- um traits about her husband she's like who is this guy right so yes cohabiting might take that shock that shock away from you being that okay you've been around this person you believe this person to know okay this is what this person there but is it really what what doing that before marriage that is my point is it really what pastor Raju said she saw things that she didn't know about this guy she was like what who is this guy right but did they wing it or did they not wing it is the question you should be asking yourself did they or did they not wing it at the end of the day did they or did they not still pull through at the end of the day did they or did they not find the middle ground at the end of the day they put a cohabit eh and 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 at the end of the day it, it, it doesn't even work so what are we talking about here? What exactly are we saying? Do you get? Is it really by cohabiting that will make you know? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, this is this is it. No. Yes, that shock might be there, like I said earlier on, but it's not something that would pass your power, or it's not something that you'd say, okay, last last you'd have to. From the dating stage, you must have. You, I believe that you must have told yourself about picking your battles. You must have known that this person I'm dating is not an angel. He's not. He's not a saint. He's hundred percent human. You must have told yourself these things from the early part of your dating stage when you chose to actually go take this step further with this person, right? You must have told yourself that by choosing this person, I know I'm just choosing my battles. This person is not perfect. He's a step for me. He's hundred percent human. I'm sure you must have made peace with that in your. If not, why did you go the extra mile to actually say you want to date and marry this person, right? You must have told yourself these things. Some of these things he must have exhibited. Not he, I'm talking too fast. He might have. He might have exhibited 
in the early part of your dating. So I believe it's a, it's a, it's a conscious effort. It's a decision that you've made to say, okay, these are the flaws of this person. And I've chosen to take it like that. So yeah. So God help me. Right? So you that you go into marriage and you're seeing certain things about this person that is probably shocking to you does not mean that. Okay. Do you guess like how was your mind conditioned from the beginning? Am I making sense? Like, what do you think? The same way you said, oh, okay, I'm choosing my battles, the same way you the battle choosing is all encompassing you. After marriage, whatever you see, right? But we're saying, okay, let the good outweigh the bad. And what I'm talking about here in this context is, okay, it might be that, okay, you didn't know that this guy was, was, was a messy guy. You didn't know he was messy. You didn't know he didn't know how to clean up after himself. You didn't know um, he would, you know, I don't know how, what, what, he, you didn't know he, he he didn't know that um he, he didn't know how to wash off the foam or whatever off the bathroom wall i know it's in case of people so it probably small, small things like that that you probably um think okay this person should know that this is how it's done right and you end up like how can somebody not know this or is that the person brushes his teeth and you know the mirror is all soiled and you're just like this person like are you not supposed to? Is it not something you're supposed to know? Right? Probably you will talk, you've talked about, you've talked to this person about this thing. And uh, the person is finding it hard to adjust, just to cause that's the way the person is. Over time, when you teach this person with love, he will understand that, okay, my wife is not comfortable with this. So, you just have to make um, adjustments, right? But in the meantime, before he starts making this adjustment, over time, as years pass, passes, or as years pass by, what do you do for the meantime you feel it for him he comes back home his shoes are all over you pick the shoes and put them back and put them where they're supposed to be that alone is already teaching him because you see you do that he's like okay he doesn't lock the door he doesn't close the door completely and he's spoken about it a couple of times what do you do for the meantime whilst you're trying to teach this man you want you close the door okay he leaves the toilet seat down you don't like it down what you do you take it back up right he doesn't wash the foam of the bathroom you pour water on it when you get in there yes these are the sacrifices that we that we said okay we will make that is you choosing your battles you have chosen that these are the battles that you're going to fight right not the person you know you're not fighting the pe that person but you're not fighting the man no you're fighting that thing that you do does that make sense so he's not the enemy here She's not the enemy here. You don't like people that um, use their toothpaste that don't <laughs> that use their toothpaste from the bottom or for whatever whatever that means. Me, I don't even care about that. What do you do? You either buy two so you can have his and then you can have yours, or you just use it like that for peace to read. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? So this is one of the shocks that and quotes that we're talking about in this context. Not that. It's something that you you're like, hey, Jesus Christ, I cannot do this. It's from your, your it's from your dating stage. You're, you're supposed to see this, hey, Jesus Christ, in from, right? Okay, I'm taking my leave because I can't do this. So it's not cohabiting that would now help you see all of these things. What what cohabiting does is just helps you experience this earlier than what you'd experience in marriage. And I know of the day. It doesn't make any sense to me why because like i said it's not something you guys cannot walk around it's not something that would end the marriage i would threaten to end the marriage it's something that you have to adjust so obviously you guys are two different individuals so just take it okay your first year your second year yeah just try to understand this kind of yours on the try to get you to live with this person feeling up for this person with love not with violence or with love are you for understanding me yeah it will get better as time goes on so it's nothing that you say okay eh, it is it is very composure you know it's nothing life-threatening I mean, it's not it's nothing that will threaten your marriage i'm mean, I mean, making sense so yeah no i'm um, say no no for me so yes please no you shouldn't when you get there you guys will sort it out you people will continue from there does that make sense so yeah that is why it's a no no for me um morally it's not even right spiritually it's not right because you're giving the devil a foothold 
right you living or staying with a man or a guy for you know in, in the name of okay i want to know what this guy is like whatever right you're just giving the devil a chance to make you seem you put know what i mean I, I, I don't have to come here and explain that to you guys or you put know what i mean so it, it's, 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 it's unnecessary it's unnecessary right all you have to do is to just condition your mind from the beginning like i said earlier i'll just condition your mind okay this is the things i'm i'm going to just try to help this man in the ways i can that is your wife as your your oh your duty as your wife does that make sense we're still coming back to the whole wife duty thing as your husband your wife is you might be a woman that is messy you clean up after her you hire some someone to clean up she doesn't like cooking she, no eh you must cook oh eh sorry sorry you you have to cook <laughs> you should cook for your husband you had a wife that doesn't like cleaning she doesn't have the anointing to clean the house you have somebody that will do it if you cannot hire somebody you do it yourself or you say oh babe you try to incorporate it or you try to you know engage her make it fun for her make her want to do it like okay you'll be like okay so babe today i feel like you should do a bit of sanitation declutter whatever how about we just do this thing together it will be fun i promise just try to make it fun play music as you guys clean these are ways you guys can navigate these things are you making sense so it's not that okay cohabiting cohabiting you are staying with my enemy it is not right though it is i'm here telling you poo. you know me i'm not telling you so that i will not see what i call it black it is not it is wrong go in caps eh it is very wrong so please don't do it so yeah i hope i've made sense in this video i hope you guys understand why you shouldn't cohabit with your intending husband or whatever just don't please right what's for doing is what doing well you guys have waited up until whatever please just wait it out does that make sense just wait it out so thank you guys for watching um sorry i'm trying to breathe through my mouth most of the time hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're still considering doing so but please like my videos you can still consider subscribing but like it just like it click on the icon that has the thumbs up right that's how you like my videos and that's how this video can reach that's how you can recommend this video to um, a lot of people right that's how a lot of you can see this video so you're helping me by liking my videos so please just help me like my video share subscribe and do all those good stuff okay i'm just putting out these videos for you for me to help you guys right and other people so share sharing is important you've watched you've learned you've benefited let other people see this thank you guys for watching please don't forget to pray for me in the comment section pray for me in your houses not even the comment section pray for me wherever you are saying god please heal jacinta thank you yeah so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye